If your videos are stuck in the 200 view hell, I'm here to save you. In this video, I'll show you why it happens and how to escape it. And it's not what you might think. It's not just because of the watch time, the algorithm or the quality of your videos. But don't worry because we'll cover everything from all the possible reasons your videos get stuck at 200 views to all the potential solutions you should try. Enough talking, let's go. So there's one important thing we have to cover in order to better understand why your videos get stuck at 200 views. And that's how the algorithm promotes your videos. I have a whole video about it but we'll cover it very briefly. So the algorithm works like a point system. So there are positive points and negative points. You upload a video and then the algorithm tests that video by showing it to 100 to 300 people. If that sample responds positively, then the algorithm pushes that video to more and more people. So if the audience likes the video, comments, shares it, visits the profile or even follows you after watching your video, then your video gets positive points and it's more likely to be pushed to more people. But if they just skip through the video, report it, tap on not interested, then all these are negative points. And it shows the algorithm that that video might not be worth promoting. That might be one of the reasons that you get stuck at 200 views. And of course, the other reason that goes hand in hand with this one is that the algorithm doesn't promote your video to the right audience. And that's your fault because you didn't give enough information to the algorithm. And this takes us to the first potential solution. First solution is giving as much information to the algorithm as possible. The algorithm algorithm needs to take your video and categorize it, or else it will promote it to the wrong audience, which will give negative points to your video and the video basically dies. So how do you give the right information? First of all, you have to stick to a niche. I've seen a lot of creators jumping around from niche to niche in almost every single video. One time it might be motivational, the other it might be fitness, and then it will be a skit, a lifestyle video, and then a vlog, and the algorithm gets confused and it doesn't promote your video to the right audience. And you end up with 200 views. And then something very important is using the right hashtags. You need to show the algorithm what's the video about. So picking hashtags that are related to the video and related to your niche helps the algorithm understand what the video is about and helps the algorithm categorize it and promote it to the right audience. The audience that will give you positive points. And then of course use keywords that are related to your niche. Write a caption that includes a lot of keywords but don't make it look as if a bot wrote it. And use keywords in the video as well, like in the title, in the sub titles anywhere you can. And then the last one about the algorithm is using trending sounds. This does not exactly help categorize your video, but it helps the algorithm pick up your video. And by combining the previous steps, the algorithm does not only promote it to more people, but to more people that are in the right audience. And to find trending sounds, you can either use the trending sound section inside TikTok or use the search bar and type trending sound. And there you can see a lot of videos and pages that basically find the trending sounds for you. But of course, that might not be enough. So that's why we have to use the next solution as well. So let's go. So the next step is using good hooks. Remember that one of the negative points is skipping through your videos. You have to understand that the viewer has 3 seconds to decide if your video is worth their time. And you have to prove them that it is. And this is where hooks come in. If you don't show your face or talk in your videos, then there are text hooks, which are equally important. So there are basically two things that make a good hook. First of all is focusing on a relatable problem. And the best way to find relatable problems is to search within yourself. What is a problem you've come across and you know the solution to and you can share it with the audience? Basically think of yourself as being the niche and the next ingredient which is a key ingredient is to make the viewer go like huh? Ah, oh, with your hook. This is basically a wow factor. It's that weird element that makes the viewer stop scrolling. It basically sparks curiosity and it's the most important aspect of the hook. If you want to learn more about hooks, I have a free product with 80 plus hooks and with explanations and tips which is really valuable and you can go ahead and grab it in the description for free and you will also join my email list where i will send you valuable emails every week i hope you like it but there is something missing so let's see what it is these two last ingredients will not only help you escape the 200 view hell but they will also help go viral and grow your page the first one is watch time and no it's not the percentage it's not necessary to have over 100 percent watch time like most gurus tell you if you're making longer videos you have to focus on watch time in seconds. So if you have a 45 second video, try to make the viewer watch 25 seconds. It's a bit over 50% watch time, but because it's 25 seconds, it signals the algorithm that most people watch 25 seconds of your video. And because people stay longer on the platform because of you, TikTok likes that, because this way they make more money. But of course, if you make shorter videos, focus on watch time as percentage, because that way you'll get more seconds watched. But sometimes it's a bit harder to do. 
so that's why I would recommend you to try and make longer videos and just see how it goes. In social media, research and experimentation is a huge factor. And then the last and most important ingredient is researching viral video ideas. Most people just sit down and create a random video that they just came up with. No research was done, nothing. By doing the research, you have a huge head start. Look through pages and accounts that are in your niche and see what works for them. Create a list of videos in your niche that have lots of videos and you can replicate in your own style way and with your own information and then remodel those videos and the possibility of them going viral or getting more views than what your random video idea would get is significantly higher and you can search in multiple platforms. Use YouTube, Instagram, Twitter if you want to have a huge guide that I'm now giving away for free which is called the Creator Economy Playbook. In there I have a lot of strategies and a lot of information about growing a personal brand and making money with it and I also have the strategies I use in order to find viral video ideas and that is also completely free. I believe that it will be a huge help for your journey as a content creator. Love you. Now that you've watched this video make sure to watch this video next where you will learn a growth strategy to grow your page and monetize it faster. See you over there. So please I want to reach 1 million.